I'm here at HPE Discover with Brian Jaco, and OneSphere is something that you guys have had in the market for a while. Tell me what's new about it that, uh, I, I hear there were some releases earlier this June. Yeah, actually with, with OneSphere being a software as a service, we can do releases whenever capabilities are ready. So most recently what we uh, announced were capabilities where you can now, in, in addition to running VMware on-prem for your VM virtualization for your private cloud, you can also do KVM, a Linux-based uh, solution. So if customers want an alternative, now we're offering that. In addition, we've added, we had, we started out with uh, Amazon Web Services as a public cloud provider. Now we've added in the ability to connect into your Azure subscription, your public cloud. So now we're offering both those capabilities um, together. So for uh, the hybrid solution we're offering is continuing to expand. How does that fit in with um, with the GreenLake uh, release that, that is also um, along those same lines? Yeah, absolutely, great question. So that's one thing we're really excited about is OneSphere will be that management console for the GreenLake managed services that we announced yesterday. So as customers choose to, to consume resources in public or private, the hybrid cloud solutions, then the managed services that we provide will use OneSphere as that console to be able to bring those solutions together for them. Okay, and I hear there's also a, a new developer community that's kind of being built around OneSphere. Yeah, there absolutely is. It's going really well. In fact, um, right over across the hall here at the on the Discover Show floor, we've got a Hack Shack. First time we've ever had that. So, in the Hack Shack, we have developers um, using the OneView, the OneSphere, and other APIs in order to drive automation or get richer insights out of the platform, basically do what they need to do to be successful, whether it's from a DevOps automation point of view. Um, so that developer community, if anyone wants to learn more, you, they can go out to hpedev.io, and all the resources, all the open source code, all that information is out there on that site. Very cool. And Magellan Robotech apparently has a uh, interesting case study behind OneSphere that, that is kind of leading the charge for this new version. Yeah, exactly. So we're really excited to have them. They've been part of several of our um, presentations and our keynote uh, events that we've had here. In fact, they're going to be presenting on stage with us later today in a session I'm presenting at. And they're a, a company who does uh, mostly private cloud today. But what they were lacking was any insights into cost. The developers couldn't move as quickly as they needed to. In fact, uh, one of the uh, the head of IT who's here made the comment that instead of it taking weeks or days to get solutions for their developers, it now is in seconds. And he said it's literally seconds to give those resources to them with a self-service interface. So pretty exciting. So so what what kind of what about OneSphere made that change possible? But once, what OneSphere does is give them the ability, so instead of having the developers um, experience the core kind of VMware thing that was really designed for administrators, not necessarily for developers who just need access quickly to resources. Um, so what we do with OneSphere is give those developers where they say, okay, I need this type of, of uh, a resource that I want to deploy into my project, it's multi-tenant and everything. They can go request it on their own, get the right size, deploy it, connect it to the right networks, and it is done really simply, really easily, and like you said, in a matter of seconds. It's really a great experience for them. Nice. Yeah, we're excited about it. Thanks, Brian. All right, thank you.